So in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can create animations. So we can see here in our canal scene, we've got a boat moving through the locks. The lock swings open, the boat moves through on its own, and then the lock will shut behind it. So these are animations we can create quite straightforward in uh, twin motion. Uh, we've also got a lady here behind this narrow boat, and as I get closer to her, uh, her drone will start to take off. And this is an animation that I've created to go with this. So um, this is the kind of thing we can do in Twin Motion, and we'll start off by uh, let's get up into the sky and let's get a good view of this road. And then what we can start to do is to put some cars and traffic along here. I think uh, so. The first thing we do is we go into Populate, which is down the bottom of the screen here in the middle. Click on Populate, go into Paths. And then within paths, we've got our vehicles. So I click on vehicles, and then we've got this vehicle path tool. And then I can make a start by just clicking and placing the vehicle path. Um, I'm going to do mine quite quickly just to show you and demonstrate how it goes. Um, and all the way down the other side of the bridge, and then out the other side. And then um, I've hit the escape key, it just stops dropping the path. And then we can start to see. Um, uh, our vehicles moving along that path and if I was to uh, move this uh, vehicle path out to here for instance we can then see the vehicles will follow that path yep so we, that's how that works um, when I hit escape key and the path disappears if I need to get it back I can come up to the scene selection up the top right hand side here go to the very box it's the last thing I put in go into vehicle path and I can start to change things like two-way traffic if you've got more than one uh, lane so you can have them um, two lanes can't really do it on this, it goes all over the place. Um, but if you've got a wide road, you can do it on there. You've got lane offsets. The density is how many cars you're gonna have traveling at once. Uh, you can speed them up, slow them down. You can reverse the direction of travel and stuff like that as well. So that's where you would uh, change that. The other thing you can do, if I hit escape key, um, I can press G on the keyboard. So the letter G. And then when I press G, you can see all the vehicle paths uh, and, and, all, and, and any other paths that you've got, whether it's pedestrian paths or custom paths. They will show up and then you can start adjusting things. I'm going to move that one back, for instance, escape key to stop adjusting it. Uh, and then press G again to get rid of those. That's just the shortcut to get to, um, to pick up all your, your paths. We could do the same with uh, people as well. So if I just, for demonstration purposes, come down here to populate, change it to characters. And I'm going to have them coming from underneath the bridge uh, just to there. You can change um, all these parameters on the right hand side here. Um, the width just means uh, it makes it a bit more random, so they're not all in, in single file. And then you can have lots of people or not quite so many people. You can reverse them and stuff like that. You can just have a play around with that and see what you want to do with that. Um, another thing we can do is uh, let's have a go back to the drone and start thinking about what we can do with um, animating objects that aren't normally animated. Um, so there's two ways we can do it. Um, this one here where I've got the lady with the drone, and again, if I get up real close, um, the drone will start to take off. So to do that, what I'm going to do is go into Objects, go into Home, Living Room, Electronic Appliances, and pick out a drone. And it's this one here I'm using, the drone flying. Place that down. And then back into Library, and this time I'm going to go into Tools. When I'm in Tools at the bottom, here, I've got Animators. I've got Rotators, which is what I used for the uh, lock gate. Uh, but for this, I'm going to use the translators, um, and it's the same process, really. So uh, you get the translator, drop that down to where I want it to move up and down, and then on the right-hand side in this properties box, um, when I scroll to the top here, we've got this object link. Click on object link, and then click on the object you want to link to that translator, and you can see it's now attached to that translator. Um, we can adjust the height of it, so how high it's going to go. Um, we've got the different axes we can change here. We can have it looping ping pong which is up and down or can just do it once uh, we've got the speed which is going to move and we can delay it start as well the bit i like is this is the trigger so i'm going to enable the trigger and the trigger for this could be um, the camera pedestrians uh, uh, vehicles and custom paths and then we've got this trigger zone so we've got this um, if i drag it right down you can see the blue circle it's like a, a, an orb a globe um, and that's the once you once you're inside that that's when that's what will trigger it as a, as a trigger zone um, so now I'm inside, it's going back up. As I move out, it goes back down again. As I move in, it's going to go up. As I move, it goes back down. So that's how that works. Um, uh, something else you can do is you can have a drone taking off and then flying off into the distance. Um, to do that, we're going to go back to populate and we're going to go back into uh, our paths. But this time, 
uh, I'm going to use a custom path. Yeah, so I'll click on custom path. And it's the same process as before where we've got this um, tool that we're going to use. So I'm going to start off um, here, for instance, and then let's go a bit further along over there and out there. Now, what we've got now is we've got this um, block, which is this cube. Um, we can replace that. Um, so when I come up to here, see we've got this box, a one meter cube box. I can change that to another drone. So if I go into library, again, back into objects, home, uh, living room, electronic appliances, scroll down to drone flying. And I'm just gonna drag that drone flying into here. And you can now see that, that drone is now following that path. What I can now do is I can now um, elevate these. You can see when we've got the each of these, um, if I do this one here, for instance, I can now elevate that. So I can now have it coming up. This one here coming up a bit higher. One next to it, even higher still. And the last one, I'll take it right up. And what you'll see is the drone is still going along the floor. It's not actually following that path because when I scroll down to the bottom here, we've got it where it says stick to the floor. If I uncheck that, the drone will now follow this path. You can see it going up. And if I hit the escape key, we can now see this drone takes off uh, and goes up off into the sky. So that's our, our custom path on there. Um, and that's how we do uh, all our animations.